So today I woke up to a um basically a Snapchat message for someone that I've known for like since what, June or July, one of those. Since about June or July, and um maybe June, maybe <laughs> I don't know. Um and basically they felt some type of way because I told them a few nights ago, no Thursday night, I told them Thursday night that you know I had I had, I had casted a spell. And, uh, it's like, what? And, 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 you know, everybody has a different spiritual journey. You can't make everybody understand what some truth is. Because truth, esoteric truth is not truth to a lot of other people, if you feel me. If you see what I'm coming with. Um, now this person, you know, I actually, I actually... You know, fuck with them a lot. You know, I really did appreciate the friendship or what it, I don't know really, really what it was, but you know, it was cool. We was sort of vibing, <laughs> if you would speak. But um, but what they said really didn't settle with it. it didn't really settle too much with me. So um. And I really find myself having to explain this a lot to people when I tell them I don't do Christianity. I don't do religion, period. Now, if you do Christianity and you do religion, that does not mean that, that your path, that's your spiritual path, that doesn't work for me. That doesn't go for me. It works for you, but not for me. So, I want to say since my junior year of high school, so for about 10 years, so about two going on three years now, I've been on my own, my own path. I've been fulfilling what I deem this is my path that I should be on now. And I'm 19, I get them young, I know that. But for me, personal, why this video is not as clear as I paid this money for? Anyway, I feel that um my path is my path and I'm actually loving it. I've never been so satisfied <coughs> in my life. Oh, what the fuck? Anyways, like I said, I've never been so satisfied with something in my life until I've gotten to this point is where I am in life. And I really appreciate it and honestly, I don't really care who I lose because this is for me. My path is my path and it's not for anybody else. So she was like, oh, you're dealing with spirits and stuff, da 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 And, and I don't really sit that well to me because how I was raised, that's how you was raised. You know, I was raised in the Holy Ghost-filled church. Holy Ghost-filled church. The healing, the passing out, the tithes, the, 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 the tongue speaking and whatever else. I was raised in it. I seen it. Um, I went to a Christian school. I was raised in a household. My mom is still like that. You know, moms, one of those hardcore Christians. My dad was raised in house of prayer. Um, I've never been to a house of prayer, but that's how my dad was raised. And he still goes occasionally or whatever, whenever he go. But all that shit, though, excuse me, it's not for me. And I woke up to that Snapchat from this person this morning, and I basically was like, um, we probably not going to speak ever again because what you do does not resonate within me. Okay. So what really got me pissed off is you assume this, that, and that. You don't even you don't even follow your religion. So how are you gonna tell me that's your beliefs? Well, if you was raised in the kingdom hall, the church, or whatever else, we can get on the topic of the, of, a, of, a, of a Jehovah's Witness if you want to. Anyways, but that's not what I'm saying. My thing is, you don't gotta believe what I believe. I got friends or associate type like people who are Christians and they know my beliefs. Do I care for their beliefs? No. Do they care for mine? No. Cause we just gonna we we understand that that everybody's path is different. 
you know? And I really didn't appreciate that. So I went on a tangent today on Snapchat. I, I went in. I, I got that message. I pulled up verses, articles, and, and I showed you why I don't believe in it. So you telling me, oh, God, Satan, and da-da-da-da, like, that's really not for me. Like, that's what you believe, and that's for you. But as for me, it's no. It's, it's a hell no. But if that's what you believe, then that's what you believe. You don't step on my beliefs, and that won't step on yours. Now, if you would have kindly asked me why I feel this kind of way, we could have had a personal conversation about that. And I can do that call all day. But what you're not going to do is you're not going to step on me and label me as something that I'm not. You feel me? Like, I don't like that. And what I do with in my personal home, in my home, the only one who has a say-so in my home is my roommate. She ain't got no problem with it. So why do you have a problem with it? You feel me? I pay my bills. So that's like you questioning what I'm doing in my bed. That spirituality, what someone does in their personal life, does not have anything to do with you. As long as I'm not negatively affecting you. As a matter of fact, it wasn't even a bad spell. I just had cast a bill. She was like, well, what you cast it on? And at the time, I had just casted it, and I didn't feel comfortable with letting someone know what I casted it on. But I casted it on, on wealth and um, prosperity. Like, this is my first time casting a spell, and I was really, really excited that I did it. And, like, I just got so much negative backlash from that, and I really didn't appreciate that at all. But I feel better after I went on my tangent, on my rant, and called everybody out. I feel good. I really do feel good. So yeah, I just want to say that with, with someone. And I also, I wonder if I should start documenting like my spiritual journey or whatever. Cause like I'm really starting to make progress. Like and I really enjoy where I'm at. So yeah, right now, um, hold on, my quick. So, uh, I ordered this book called The Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America by Noble Drawley. So I'm reading this book right now. Um, I hope it's the correct book. If not, I'm going to keep it in my library no matter what. But, um, so this is the book I'm reading. And actually, I typed in, I was on Amazon, typed in Circle 7 Quran. This popped up. Don't know if this is the correct book or not, but I'm going to read it and just keep it in my book collection. I've also ordered 1984 and The Art of War. Now, I got a notification that both of those were delivered yesterday, so here's my thing. You know what? I'm so sick and tired of UPS. Like, y'all, it's not funny. I'm so tired of UPS. Like, postal service is slow, but they got this to me on time and early in the morning. Now... UPS I feeling you see I got my shoes that I ordered but my books now when I went I stayed in an apartment so when I went up to the clubhouse and it was like oh yeah these books aren't here da, 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 da. like like the fuck like the fuck is you doing like uh, if my books ain't here by the time I go back during Monday ooh, no Sunday well no I'm not gonna I'm gonna try to go by there Sunday, and if my stuff not in there, we we just gonna have some issues. Like, hey UPS, da da da, what's going on? Um, yes, my things ain't here, like I said. Um, so somebody gonna reimburse me and give me what I deserve, cause if if oh, I will raise hell. But um, so I was wondering if I should start documenting my spiritual journey. Like, should I? Y'all let me know. Comment. You know. Or let me know on some, one of my social medias or whatever. Let me know. Because I'm really curious. Because I'm really interested. you see my shirt. North Carolina Central University. Y'all got the maroon and gray socks on. And what's an Aggie to an Eagle hat made? Well, I had this last year from the Aggie Eagle Classic. But y'all know I'm back in the city for Battle of the Bands. North Carolina Central will be there. So shout out to them. Eagle Pride, Amplify. 
Shout out to Dr. James E. Shepard and whatever else. Supper Hills, Butter Green, Durham, North Carolina. Yeah, raise up. But I really just want to get that off my chest, y'all. Peace and blessings.